So I've been trying to figure out the syllabuses, syllabi for the undergraduate biochemistry courses I'll be teaching. And oh my gosh, it's like impossible. My head and my Leninger are just filled with so much cool biochemistry and I'm just so eager to pass it all on, but I can't pass it all on. And so instead I need to narrow it down to what I think is the most important. But of course, what I think is the most important is gonna be a biased view. And so what I, what topics I choose to cover is going to be biased by what I find the most interesting and what I have experience in and this sort of thing. In fact, no matter what course you take, no matter how great your professor is, you're only ever going to touch the surface. You're only ever going to see various little bits and pieces of the bigger picture. I can only pick and choose from the thousand plus pages of this Leninger. I can't cover it all even in my two semester course, let alone a one semester course. And so no matter what course you're taking, you're really just scratching the surface, but that doesn't mean that you can't go explore beyond the, te beyond the class. And maybe you, have, you don't have time to do it while you're in the class, but if you buy or if you rent your book longer or if you just look online, there's tons and tons of more useful content about those topics that you might not be able to cover. And so in my courses, I have some ideas for the fundamental biochemistry that I want them to learn. And I've been trying to, well, it started with this trying to make a syllabus and it turned into more of an outline of some of the fundamental things I think are important to focus on in biochemistry. And I realized that even that is too long but I still think that it's kind of like a valuable guide for people who are maybe exploring biochemistry by themselves. Um, some of the topics that I think are most important and what to focus on in each of the sections. But I'm still going to have to narrow that down, which is going to be really, really hard. But first, I just want to get those ideas out on paper. Thankfully, I'm not starting from scratch and I've gotten syllabi from past instructors who have been just so supportive and helpful. And I'm so grateful to everyone at St. Mary's. It's been really, really awesome in helping me get off the ground um, and start, start teaching. And now I just need to kind of flesh out the details of what I want to cover within the broader framework of the syllabi that they provided. And so very grateful for that. Then my students will be seeing the topics that I find most interesting. Um, and then I hope that they will also be exploring those other areas by themselves. And I'm gonna try to make this easier by helping provide them with the critical thinking skills and those core concepts, trying to really focus on those concepts and those critical thinking that then they can go apply to other, um, other parts of biochemistry and other things in other classes even, or in the bigger picture of the bigger world. Because it's that thinking skills that's one of the most important things that you're going to learn in undergraduate, not just your amino acids, but you still, 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 please learn those amino acids.